Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Hive Swap. Last we left off, Joey managed to escape one room only to find herself in another, and also Zephyrus is apparently buried under a whole bunch of rubble, and we should probably see what we can do to try to free him from that. Uh, it looks like, actually, you weren't powering the door up with the power cell, as you thought. From the override detected lockdown re-engaged message, it looks like you were hacking it? Sort of? Let's go with hacking. Let's see. Oh, hey, the tablet's doing the thing again. Uh, uh this thing. Um, okay, well, there's two of them on the screen right now. Let's see. Oh, uh, hey, Xerox, you there? Can't really go anywhere else with the debris still crushing my body. <laughs> Oof, right, sorry. It's okay. It doesn't sound okay! Try not to move too much. Okay, I'll try. I'm going to, uh, pass out a little now. Wait, real quick! I'm having trouble with this, uh, security puzzle, you could call it. I saw the one in the basement, no sweat, but this one seems kind of different. Security puzzle? You mean this serpent rum that Tetrarch Damic rigged up to, to to his power hexagrid? I wouldn't have used those words, but if you think that's what I'm talking about, it probably is. There's another one? A different one? I think so. The start screen is different anyway. And the power is still on, so I don't know what it could be connected to. His hive security, probably. He's always tinkering with it to make it more complex. Yeah, for the one in the basement, I only had to eat the letters. But now they're different? There's different letters to eat, but I don't know what letters to eat, if that makes sense. Oh, it's probably XXXXXXX. Oh, really? No, wait, sorry, I meant XXXXXXXXXXX. XXXX, etc. Yeah, I got it. No, that's not it. What? I keep typing it in, but it keeps getting changed to a bunch of X's. Maybe it's that new security software I installed? It must have... It must stop me from posting my password to the chat. Really? Let me try. Mrs. Taylor Thomas 80. Can you see that? Mrs. Taylor Thomas 80? Jonathan Taylor Thomas, by the way, was a big heartthrob back in the day. For young ladies. OMG! What's that? No! You told me it would turn it into X symbols! Well, you're using the Tetrarch's tablet. It wouldn't know your password. I can't believe I did that. Sorry, I'm going home. I can never show my face on this planet again. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Taylor Thomas 80 seems like a nice password. I'd never guessed that. You must be really smart, Joey. Oh my god, Zephyrus, you're precious. No, apparently I'm super stupid. What's so embarrassing about it? Everybody makes mistakes. It's just... Well, I guess that's the name of a boy I like. Really? Haha. <laughs> Don't tell anyone, but that's what my password is, too. Oh? Do you have a girl you like? No, no, it's a boy. Oh, for some reason I thought you were a boy all this time. Yeah, nice assumptions you're making there, Joey. I am. <laughs> oh. Huh. So, um, not to rush you or anything, but I'm still dying in rocks. About the security console. Yeah. About that. Can you, like, give me a hint? It's the name of our band, but there's a couple different ways to spell it. That's pretty weird. Yeah, we keep going back and forth between the XXXX and the XXXXX. I actually don't know which one it is right now. Well, I'll scout around to see what if, see if I can find anything. He's about to have written it down somewhere or something, right? Um, I hope so. I'm gonna conserve my strength a little bit, maybe. Getting kind of dead. Hang in there. I'll be there as soon as I can. Oh, boy. Those look like, uh... Bloody paw prints. That doesn't encourage me much. The feed on the top monitor looks like the room you were in just a minute ago. It's weird to think it from the, see it from this perspective. Also, the room looks slightly different than you remember. 
The left one seems to be an error message. But you don't recognize the other two at all. Wait, is that Zephyros in the bottom one? His big monster parent thing is helping him out. And that's, um... You are supremely creeped out. Hmm. This door is pretty intimidating. The spear sticking out, th uh, sticking through it, managed to be significantly more intimidating. Whoever threw the spear is definitely the most intimidating, though. So it's a good thing they don't seem to be around. Hmm. <sighs> All right. Let's see. Excuse me for yawning. Oh my. You assume this is a trophy for best terror cat menace fawn thrash bronco in show. This hole is what you get when you build an elevator into your house while at the same time not caring if people fall down holes. The platform is down in the basement. You can still hear the sound of the wild animal below. Hmm. That's not much I can do over there. Oh, gross. Someone left out food and a big bug got into it. Or... Or he eats bugs. Probably that's all anyone here eats. You really, really wish you'd eaten something before you got here. A computer! You wonder if Damick ever makes his own video games as a means of hashing out his problems like Clarissa does. Clarissa is so cool. Hmm. Damick has gone back and forth between the Grubbles and the Grubbles and the Grubbles several times. The Grubbles seems to be the current favorite, though. At least until he crosses it out and writes another one beneath it. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So I believe that that's going to help us out considerably. This is actually kind of cute, this poster here. Alright. Oh, okay, this is getting a little ridiculous. Who locks the door to their kitchen? Is he worried someone's going to steal his... Okay, there's just... There's no way he eats bugs, right? Alright. So, um... Let's try this again. Oh, hey, the tablet's doing the thing again. Okay, so now we actually have the symbols up on the top uh, right of the screen. You want to match those in order the best that you can. And I'm probably going to fail this at least a couple of times because my, uh, my reaction skills are not so good. Oopsie. See? I told you. I'm gonna fail this a couple of times. Okay. So you want to get the ones that match the ones up there. So the first one is this one here. The second one is the you-looking one down at the bottom there say you, but it's probably not. Okay. Okay, I need the one that looks like a G. I think I need the other G. Jesus Christ, I'm so bad at this. Right. Uh, I think I need this one. Nope! Do not... Oh my god, I almost rushed right into myself. Uh, it's getting faster, isn't it? Oh, I got the wrong one. Shit. Okay, I'm gonna try it again. Alright, hopefully I'm better at it this time. <laughs> okay. Probably also easier for me to focus on this thing when I'm not doing something like this. What the, what the fucking... I told you I'm not good at this, right? Right, I hope you guys are enjoying watching me fucking fail at this! Okay. <sighs> okay. And this one? The one that looks like a G again. Uh, 
And the one that looks like a G again. Damn it, I fucking... Why does my coordination have to suck this badly? Jesus fucking Christ. I can do this, I promise. And it speeds up every time, so that doesn't help. But... If you came here expecting me to be skilled at something, then I am so disappointed for all of you. Well, at least I'm becoming very intimately familiar with the order here. As a result of all of this. You know, if he had really actually advanced one of these, uh, after so many entries, it would not allow you entrance. But of course, naturally, because I suck so much, it's giving me this allowance. I'm sure that many of you are already laughing at me for all of this. Okay. Oh, thank God. Woo! I finally did it! Ah. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Well, I figured out the game, but the monster chased me into- Well, technically it didn't chase you, it just kind of stood there. I'm fairly confident this is a kitchen? That's really gross, but anyway, keeping you informed. Monster? Wait, sorry, I'm a little woozy. It- the deer cat. Oh yeah, now I remember, the tetrarch's looses. Okay, sure. Hey, while we have a second, maybe you can fill me in on what that means? What- what means? What's a Lucis? Wow. What? That's... just about the saddest thing I ever heard get said. That's actually a callback, I believe, again, to the comic, where there's another character who hears someone say, like, what's a- what's a parent, or what's a mom? And one of the human characters says that in response. That's about the saddest thing I've ever heard get said. Yeah, cultural differences, etc, etc. Can you bring me up to speed on this wild beast stalking me? Why does Damick even have a crazy cat monster in this house? Well, it's usually not crazy. Or, it's not usually crazy. Your Lucis takes care of you. Protects you from wild monsters and also dying from, like, whatever, you know? I guess mine's not too good at that since I'm being still being crushed by heavy debris. I... not really? Are they all, um... beasts? Well, yeah, what else would they be? And they're always this rambunctious? I mean, it seems like it'd be pretty crazy if everyone in your family had their own rip-snorting monster. What's a family? Well, it's some adults and their kids, or one adult and some kids, or some kids and their babysitter and the conspicuous absence of a father who isn't garbage. Adults? Yeah, why? Adults live on your planet? Yeah, of course. Is that not where they live? For you? For your adults? Sorry, this is somehow the weirdest thing you've said yet. Somehow the weirdest thing, really? Once you come of age, you get sent off planet for your ordeals. And that's it? Nobody comes back? Ever? No exceptions. There are no adults on Alternia. I think this might be another wow, I'm an alien conversation. Better save for when you're not pinned under a bunch of rocks. Probably. I'm gonna have a rest in a sec. Okay, well, I'm gonna focus on finding the hover pad. I'll let you know when I do. Thanks, Joey. I'm gonna focus on maintaining consciousness, I think. Good plan. Stay, um... Stay alive. Um, kid power! Oh, jeez, that was awful. Sorry, bye. Alright, let's take a look around here. It's really gross. Maybe you should clean it? Yeah, you definitely traveled to a strange alien world to deep clean this guy's kitchen. That's how you live your life, for sure. Hmm. This is probably a fridge, right? You get the sense that this is a fridge, giving its fridge shape and its placement in what is obviously the kitchen. 
Okay. The Crux. Wow, that's a really, really stupid name for a canned beverage. This is Lucis Milk. Milk for Lucis's? Milk from Lucis's? Either way, gross, but maybe it'll come down that, calm down that monster. Alright, let's... You take the Lucis Milk. Maybe that'll... This'll calm the beast? Grub sauce, huh? You wonder if everyone on this planet eats nothing but bugs. Or maybe it's just Damic. That would be worse somehow. Did he just hurl a handful of eggs into the fridge and leave it like that? Boys, you swear. Hmm. This pizza must commit all sorts of pizza sins, seeing as the tastes and sensibilities of the human race were not considered during its creation. Perhaps completely unworthy of the name pizza. Hmm. Could it, there could be anything in there. You're not about to open Pandora's doggy bag to find out. Are those... teeth? You remind yourself not to have any birthdays here. Yeah, I can't say that that was a huge plan of mine. Let's see, what's in this? This cabinet is empty. Kind of a running theme today. And also most of your life. Wait. There's a bowl in the pack. A clean bowl! Maybe Damik missed it too? That would explain why it's actually clean. Hmm. Yeah, nothing over here worth noting. Also, there is a flight up of stairs. It seemed to lead up to a curving hallway. Hmm. Let's see, what's up here? Huh. Oh. A hover pad! This really is the future, by which you mean this is an alien planet or something. Wait, is this the future? Zephyr says this is his, but it looks like a Damic, uh, has other ideas. Oh well. Damic isn't here. Now you can help Zephyrus with it and help Zephyrus by returning it. I found the hover pad! A uh, hover sled? Whatever it's called, I got it. I can come save you. Excellent! Although I think I'm a bit boxed in. Between the deer cat and this pile of guns and drums, I don't really have a clear path. Oh well, I'll figure it out. Well, the Tetrarch made some pretty decisive modif- or extensive, there we go. Extensive modifications to my hover pad. Mm, that might be able to help? Yeah, um... This guy doesn't sound like he has a good sense of respect for boundaries or personal property. Oh, he hates it! Tetrarch Damic says the concept of private property is a vehicle for exploitation and the tool by which the high blood subjugate the low blood underclass. Uh... Well, I'm new here, so I can't really comment, I guess. Anyway, it'll be back in your hands now, so, uh, problem solved! <laughs> okay, I'll give it a shot. Talk to you soon? Hmm... Looks like shooting practice. Looks like Damik is pretty into guns. You resolve to be a little more cautious when solving his goofy paranoia puzzles. Also, if you ever, like, meet him in person. Huh. Okay. Well. What's this? What luck! A Ved med kit, just like the one you forgot to bring along for the trip! Well, maybe. It could just be as easily done in some lame old normal med kit for non-veterinarians, but you're optimistic. Okay, well, let's grab that. Just think of all the possibilities for alien animal care held in this little kit. You kind of regretted not taking the one from your bedroom, but this is this is more than makes up for that absurd blunder. That's a big, messy pile of weapons and percussion instruments is really hampering your ability to use these stairs. Sheesh. Move. Just plunge your hands into the pile of death, huh? You'd think you'll look around for a bit something with here to assist you. Maybe I'll dance it off. Ha <laughs> uh, this pile looks a little more volatile than the cardboard box variety you're used to. I think maybe you should look for another way to move it. Like one that isn't you standing next to a pile of probably loaded guns and stomping your feet a lot? Well, we do have a hover pad! Woo! Just drop it down the hole. If the Tetrax Lucis is upset, it might have gotten hurt. Gotten? Oh, gotten. That's cute. Anyway, I did see a whole lot of blood smeared up to the huge hole in the floor. Oh no. Well, that was brown, so it's pretty old? 
Not sure what you mean. The Tetrarch is a bronze blood. So that's either Damic or is Lucis, and it's recent. Wait. Okay, you've been saying things about blood color a lot, but I'd been assuming it was metaphorical. Are you saying members of your species literally have different colors of blood? Yeah, I'm a rust blood. Bronze, rust, so it's a metals thing? No, it's by color. I'm, I'm actually a burgundy blood, but... But maybe this isn't the best time to talk about all of this. Yeah, I'll be glad to tell you all about blood on our planet, when I'm not leaking so much of it down the ground. Wow, I really thought I'd be dead by now. Don't worry, I'm coming, as soon as I figure a way past this wild beast. Hmm, maybe I can give him a treat. I do have some pet treats. What's a pet? Uh, I think it would be a little weird if I described it to you, given the fact that you were, sounds like, raised by one? Eh? Let's move on. Maybe I can sneak past him? Pretty unlikely. Wait, are you some kind of alien that's invisible and silent? No. Yeah, no chance then. Maybe I can outrun him. I'm surprised he's been chasing you. That's really not like him. Well, now that you mention it, he didn't exactly chase me. I think this might all be a misunderstanding. He's probably upset. With Damic missing and everything that's happened before you got here, I mean, they can be kind of frustrating. Lucis's, I mean. They mean well, and they try to take care of you, but they don't always know what they're doing. And it's not always easy to understand them, you know? Yeah, I have someone like that. Oh? Yeah, my babysitter. You'd love her. Her name has an X in it, too. <laughs> well. Okay, if we have an upset beast on our hands, that's there's really only one thing to do. Yeah? Joey Claire, amateur veterinarian, is going pro. <gasps> BRB! Alright. Ah, okay, so we've extended out to this room again. Okay. So I believe that is going to do it for this installment of Let's Play Hive Swap. But I hope to see you next time where we hopefully deal with what's going on with the Lucis and maybe see if we can't uh, do what we can to try and save our new friend. Hopefully, maybe. <laughs> hope to see you then.